What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lewis and on today's video we're going to be reviewing the all new Hammer Anger. Which of the six balls that was announced, this is the one that I was the second most excited for behind of course the Hammer Effect Tour. But this video is going to be all about the Hammer Anger. Before we get into any of that guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are on our way to 50,000 subscribers and I cannot get there without you. Uh, down below in the description, there's going to be links where you can order the ball, the ball spinner, or of course, the chamois. Order the chamois, please. As soon as we sell out, we'll order some new ones with different styles and all that stuff, but we got to get through the first batch. Um, also, coolwig.com, promo code NAPOLIS10, that gets you 10% off your entire order. All right, so why am I excited about this hammer anger? And it's all about the core. I really, really like balls with this kind of core numbers. So that's what we're gonna start with. So it features the modified infamous core, which in 15 pounds has an RG of 2.56, which is very high, and a max differential of 0.049, which is on the higher end of medium. So I'm expecting a ball that's gonna clear the fronts and be very responsive down lane. But as we know, the core doesn't touch the lane, the cover does. And the cover on this ball is the HK22CT Reactive Flip cover stock that comes out of box at a 1500 compound finish. So anytime I see a ball that's HK22 Pearl, I just automatically assume that it's gonna get down lane and it's gonna boom. So on paper, on paper, right? We do our testing on the lanes, but on paper, the core and cover are heading in the same direction. They're both trying to do the same thing, which is get down lane and make a motion. Uh, when we talk about the layout, it's my typical tester layout, right? Being 30 by four and a half by 30. We're gonna be here at South Point on lane one on a moderately transition house shot, kind of like when I would go to something like this. Uh, definitely not on the fresh, because on the fresh, it's definitely gonna be way too angular, is what I'm assuming. But more of a transition on the burn kind of ball when I need to get left and create some motion. So let me know down below in the comments, guys. Are you excited for this hammer anger? Why? Why not? We'll see you on the lanes. All right, first shot here with the hammer anger. We're gonna be in shaping it. I really like the motion I saw in practice when I was warming up with this ball. Yeah, very, very clean with a pretty aggressive or an angry response to the anger or, or to the friction, if I may, right? An angry response to the friction. Very clean, very poppy. I'm never gonna throw this ball in the fresh, ever. It's way too long, way too responsive. End of game two, into game three is when I can really see myself uh, throwing this ball, uh, just based on what I'm seeing so far. Uh, this is gonna be like the guarantee game two fill ball, right? If you get a game two fill ball, you're gonna go to the hammer anger. All right, so that first shot there with the anger is basically all it did the entire time of practice. And I've been missing a ball that I can get left with like that and just shape. So let's see if we can keep building on that. And hopefully it's not just uh, the one, one and done type of thing. Yeah, I like that motion. Um, again, it's, it's another one of those one trick pony type of balls. I'm never gonna throw this on game one, but I like the way it clears the fronts. I like the way it interacts with the friction and goes through the pins. It's hunting the eight pin. So if you start to really nine pin with this ball or four pin with this ball, just know that it's not time. You gotta, the lane will tell you when it's ready to throw the anger. Yeah, you know, I think this and the effect tour could be like a nice little one-two punch. You know, start with the tour, then go to this one when you need to get left and uh, shape it. Oh, I kind of twirled that one a little bit. I wish it would have struck because it was close enough to strike. But I'm not going to make a move on that because it wasn't a great shot. We'll just now reset this, this 10 pin and make a good shot. All right, that 10 pin there, I kind of twirled it a little bit too much. Let's get a little bit more up the back, give this ball chance and time to hook and strike. Is that better, Aji? I didn't twirl that quite as much, got that into the friction, and it looked, what I think, is pretty good. This ball's pretty good. I don't know if it's amazing. It's definitely not terrible. I think this ball's pretty good in the uses when I need something like this, for sure. Oh. 
Oh, missed right by a mile. It's never going to recover from there. And I think it's important to show shots like this, that it's not a ball that's just going to boom from everywhere on the lane. I can't miss right from that far left and expect it to strike. Yeah, I can't expect anything to come back from that far left. So the only adjustment we're going to make here is throw a better shot. There we go. Much better shot. Oh, that's a brutal nine pin. But guys, let me know in the comments what balls you want to see compared to this Hammer Anger. Just core numbers wise, I think I want to do a comparison to the Primal Rage Evolution uh, for sure, because similar RG, similar differentials, both pearls, uh, both of mine are laid out the same as well. So I think that that could be a really good little comparison. But let me know down below in the comments. I'm going to move two and one left off this nine pin. All right, let's make a two and one move left here off that nine pin. I didn't think that was all that bad. I just need a little bit more time for the ball to hook. Okay, now we're gonna move right because I think I'm trying to hook it too much for how clean this ball is. So let's just move everything right now. All right, let's, uh, let's zone right here a little bit and see what this anger looks like from a little bit straighter. Yeah, I think that looks, that looks pretty good. I think that what I need to do is wait until the lanes are really torched to really get into this ball. Really high RG. Differential is high, but because it's a shiny cover with a high RG, it's going to want to get down lane. Um, so if I wanted to throw it a little bit sooner, maybe change the surface, but for now I'm going to stay in this part of the lane. All right, so that was a pretty good shot, I would say. Let's go right back to that same spot. I think what happened in the beginning there is I was trying to get too far left too soon. Yeah, I think I have way better motion from there than trying to do something that I'm not super comfortable, super good at doing. Now I can really see myself throwing this ball more. Before, when I was trying to hook it like that, I was not sold. Now I'm definitely more sold. All right, so that last two shots look really good. This is more my A's A game anyway. This is where I like to play anyway. Oh yeah. Oh, the seven pin, Jeff. Why did that have to seven? Okay, now I know why the ball's called the anger, because that infuriated me. All right, that seven pin, uh, guys. All right, that seven pin, guys, just like uh, broke my heart. Uh, I thought that was a pretty good shot. But I think it was just a misfortune and not so much anything I did. So let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, just maybe a bad rack. Uh, I'm giving a, uh, Jeff the anger death stare because we're, we're about to shoot a video together after. So anyway, where was I? The anger is a really good ball. You know, I had to mess with Jeff there. He's a good guy, but uh, be on the lookout. Him and I and Theo Johnson are shooting a Primal Rage Evolution video a review together. So be on the lookout for that. We're shooting that after this. Oh, okay, that creeped high. Might have been a little slow. I'm going to double check. And if it was slow, I'll stay in the same spot. And if it wasn't slow, then I'll move in a little bit. All right, just a few more shots here with the hammer anger. I think I've seen everything I need to see. And I think you guys have as well. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this ball in the comments. Yeah, clean through the fronts, pretty responsive to the friction. Um, it's not going to be a ball I'm going to throw in the fresh ever with the out-of-box finish, but I think it could be a pretty good go-to ball like game two, especially if I need something clean like that. Anytime I need something clean, quick down lane, this is when I can go to something like this anger. One more shot and we'll wrap it up. All right, last shot of the video here with the anger. Let's end it here on a good note. Oh, hook a lot. Uh, well, I got to throw one more. I got it right. I asked for it to hook a lot, and it didn't hook quite enough. We'll reset the 10-pin, throw one more, and then wrap it up. 
All right, last shot of the video here. That 10 pin broke my heart. I thought that was pretty good. Let's end it here on a good note. You guys know I like to end it on a strike. Last shot no matter what here. Oh! Okay, I missed right. That was heartbreaking. That was going to be the last shot no matter what. I like this ball. I don't know that I'm ever, like I said, when I throw this ball is, is when I'm going to have to really fine tune. It doesn't have like a clear roll. Because I don't know if it's going to be only on the burn, like more than this, or in transition. I kind of liked it from a little bit straighter. Uh, we'll see as time goes on. But I definitely like this ball is the big thing. It's, it's a like right now.